All right, so I've had some recent questions on what do I do with my crazy puppy? Well, I don't have a crazy puppy anymore. But what I have is a five-year-old named Danny, and over here and there is a almost 14-year-old named Zora. But I've got Danny as a puppy. She was six months when I adopted her, or thereabouts. So some easy things to work on is we're gonna call loading the clicker. Yes. Every time they get a click, they get a cookie. So I click, she looks at me. Another thing we started off, one of the first things she learned is to sit. So now obviously, you say sit to a puppy, they don't know anything. So you have to wait until they're actually sitting on their own. Click and reward. Can you stand up for me? I know, the stand is hard. So one way to get a puppy to sit is you're gonna over their head, Come on, up on the platform. You're gonna go over their head until they lower their back feet. You've got one foot off the platform. Can you fix that? Good girl. So once they're sitting, now from the sitting position, you can do a lot of things. So I'm gonna hold the treat in front of my eyes, and now we've got watch me. And now when you're doing a training session with a puppy, especially a very young dog, your attention span is that of a goldfish or a 14-year-old deaf dog with cancer. Same difference. So you're gonna do what I call commercial training. Sit down, watch your favorite show, and when you have a commercial, you sit down on the floor and train your puppy. When your commercials are over, go back to your couch, let the puppy do whatever, give them a toy. Watch me. So you see what I'm doing is, we're gonna hold the treat. This is watch me. Put the treat in front of her nose. Get her attention. Put it in front of my eyes. She makes eye contact. Now granted, she's only looking at the, before she learns, she's only looking at the cookie, but that's okay. You give her a click and a treat. And we're gonna progress from this to having the treat in my lap. And now I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna use my finger, watch me, up here. Good girl. Watch me. I know, Zara's yelling. It's okay. Watch me. Yes, good girl. So another thing you want to work on with a puppy is you want to target your own. So, touch. Good girl. I think I'm out of cookies. You got more in here. Uh, uh. And we want to touch in multiple directions. So the way you start this, and I've got other videos on teaching this, is you're gonna hold the cookie in your hand, flat palm, let them take it. I didn't click. Let them take it, click, while their nose is touching you. And yeah, they're gonna be licking, they're chewing. It's okay, ignore it. Let them take it, click, reward. And now you'll easily be able to progress to touch and reward. So those are some easy things that you can do, Zora. Go back on your bed. Back. Back. Okay. Those are some easy things. Watch me. Yes. Sit. She's already sitting. And touch. That you can do with a puppy in just a couple of commercials. Now I have her sitting on this platform. I use this platform since the day I got her. I find platform training extremely beneficial to a small puppy. She knows where her feet are. She knows where she is. Come here. So you'll see, you'll see her feet came off, but she learned down on here. And she, she collects her body. This is the last cookie I have, so we're done now. And this helps her understand where she is. And whenever she's on the platform, and that could be a couch cushion that you move to the floor, or your ottoman, or a chair from your dining room. They're on this. This is when they're working. This is when they're thinking. And again, if you've got a tiny puppy, your sessions are short. Thank you.